Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again and we are planning for Christmas. Typically I do have this already done and actually it's been done since November 29th. <laughs> and I don't know what I would do without this planner, honestly. It literally keeps me so much better or so much better organized. It definitely doesn't help me with my grammar, but <laughs> It helps keep me so organized during these crazy months and I have to say since I switched to a digital planner about this time last year I have been absolutely loving it and I cannot recommend anything more. So shameless plug, I do have several products up on my Etsy, Etsy store and I do have the link below. So here I am just entering in all of the important dates and practices and appointments and everything possible that I can on my planner section. And then I do have a separate section for budgeting and a separate section or tab, whatever you want to call it, for my, um, my YouTube channel. So I keep everything organized that way. I'm not necessarily going to be showing you my specific budget with all of my, you know, pay and breakdown and all of that. Um, but I am going to show you a way that I help myself stay organized when it comes to planning for Christmas, budgeting for Christmas, and making sure I don't spend too much, but I'm still getting everything that I need before Christmas comes. So stay tuned. That will be a little bit later on in the video. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a fire in the tent It's 5.30 That might have made it worse We're here again At the same spot where we kissed the first time I swear my pain is far away Long gone by now We've got a fire in the tent It's 5.30 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left Get in trouble again That star's got nothing on you That one's brand new Still it's got nothing on you Tonight We've got a fire in the tent It's 5.30 So you may see here that I have a couple of dollar signs on my planner page, even though this isn't the budgeting page. I do this because um, the kid's dad and I share expenses a lot of times, or we split them. Uh, one week is his turn, the next week is my turn. And that's just how we keep ourselves even and organized. And on the weeks that I have to make the payment, I set an additional reminder for myself so that I know that it's my week to pay for the kid's um, appointments and that's how I keep myself organized while co-parenting with Kale and Lila's dad. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much 
much time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know a single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time girl i know what's bothering me i need somebody to love oh na 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 don't you see what's wrong with me i need somebody to love oh oh na na so on this page here i am just planning out our meals for the month and then i will copy this and paste it onto my weekly spread whenever i create the week for the week ahead does that make sense i don't know if that made any sense but this helps me kind of plan out so that we are not eating the exact same thing every single week however we do eat tacos at least once a week and then i'm pretty sure we eat spaghetti or some kind of Italian dish at least once a week as well. We eat a lot of chicken. We eat a lot of beef. We eat a lot of venison and some kind of starch and some kind of vegetable. It's super boring around here, but we, we, we spice it up with some spices and then that's how we keep all of our dishes, you know, not exact. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, leave some of your recipes down below because while I say we don't always eat the same thing we're in such a bad recipe rut right now I need some new dinners that are weeknight friendly because my schedule changed at work and I am working very late nowadays it is almost dark when I get home and it kind of stinks <laughs> so tangent over if you have good recipes that are weeknight friendly, leave them down below. I will be forever grateful. I did just try a new recipe tonight, actually, um, the night that I'm editing this video, and I'm excited to share it with you on my next video. I'm a good So moving over to our next spread here, I believe in all of the planners that I offer on my Etsy store, I offer blank pages, either lined or a dot grid to insert into your digital planner wherever you feel the need to. So here is one of those times that I like using a blank dot grid, which is kind of like just using a blank bullet journal page. 
And then I like using the text feature as well. Another feature that GoodNotes 5 offers is this snap to shape feature, I guess you would consider it. So I just kind of counted all of the spaces and spaced all of my lines out evenly. All you do is drag the line, hold it for a second, and then it'll snap into place so it's a nice straight line for you. And then if it's a little bit off from the dot where you didn't, I guess, stay in the lines, you can always just tap it and then drag it to the spot where you wanted it to go. But anyways, so this is just one of the ways that I budget for Christmas. I create this little chart and over on the left there, I'm going to write how much money I'm planning on spending this week for Christmas. And this is after I've already paid my bills, mind you. So this is money that I had already planned on setting aside for either Christmas or savings or sinking funds or whatever the case may be. And it's just this month I've allocated it towards Christmas. Next year I am going to be um, budgeting a little bit differently for Christmas. So I'll be sure to share that with you uh, once I get the hang of it and make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But anyways, I use the space off to the right to kind of jot out exactly what I want to purchase the kids or whoever I'm buying things for that week and the funds that need to be allocated for that specific gift. And this can also be for anyone in your life, whatever you may need during this time. And then I even budget in if I wanted to purchase any decor. So this is how I make sure that I'm not overspending and that I'm sticking to my budget. So this is how I plan out my YouTube content calendar basically. I use a small half screen calendar to depict where I'm going to be filming, when I'm going to be uploading, and then off to the left I will put down more of the details. I am not doing that in this video because it's supposed to be a surprise, but I'm sure that you can guess we're going to be doing Vlogmas this year. So all of these daily vlogs or daily videos are going to be part of vlogmas the 12 days of vlogmas instead of a full 24 because that's a lot and uh i i don't think that i would survive honestly <laughs> we uh we barely survived last year but i do want to mention that it is going to be um a little bit different because we don't have our kids on christmas day this year so on christmas the day after christmas it's also my birthday, so I'm going to be filming that day and then uploading either that night or on the 27th the 12th day of Vlogmas. Four. So just so you're not caught off guard, hopefully you watch this video to let you know that the 12th day did not get skipped. It will be uploaded, but a little bit late just because we're going to be celebrating Christmas a little bit late this year. So I hope that you understand and I hope that you'll stick around for that because I have a lot of stuff planned for Vlogmas this year. It's going to be great. Can I be around you for motivation? Just a little while now. A simple question. Can I get closer? Just for motivation. So here's just a quick flip through of my December Christmas plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you are interested in any of my planners that I have on my Etsy shop, it is listed down in the description box below. If you have any requests for planners, I am open to any suggestions and I'm happy to oblige. Thanks so much for joining me here today, guys, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.